Hello, welcome to Lexington, Kentucky. My name is Kenneth Lapart, and I'm the innovation leader for the Supply Chain Performance Group with Schneider Electric. I'm excited to have you here today in Lexington, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about a digital transformation that we've performed here in an aged facility, a facility that's 63 years old. Some of the struggles that we've had uh, in performing that digital transformation and how we achieved or went through some of the roadblocks to perform that digital transformation. So we're now on the factory floor. We're standing here in our customer welcome center uh, in the Lexington facility. We make load centers and safety switches here in the Lexington facility. QO and home line uh, load centers for energy distribution, commercial and residential applications, and safety switches. Uh, in single phase, three phase, uh, varying in size from 30 amp to 200 amp varieties here in the facility. We are uh, fortunate enough to be fairly vertically integrated in this facility. All of the high tonnage stamping, the plastic injection molding, the electroplating uh, for the coating on our current carrying devices, uh, the semi-automated assembly, the painting uh, of the metal itself, uh, and the semi-automated assembly, and even the, the, the material conveyance from fabrication all the way through the assembly line uh, is under one roof. We're also fairly uh, highly automated uh, in the fact that we make approximately 2.8, nearly 3 million of these devices a year in this facility from a raw coil of steel, and we're making a little over 800,000 of these safety switch devices in the facility. We've progressed through the plant now to the point of our first station stop where I want to talk about unlocking siloed data. We noticed that we had uh, concentrations of tribal knowledge in the facility, particularly around the, the, the knowledge that it takes to troubleshoot the, 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 the pieces of electronic uh, devices that control our machines, TLCs, TCs. Documentation and information on that machine, critical health signals from that machine uh, is difficult, requires a special skill for a person to come, hook a laptop up to a device to troubleshoot it, spend time trying to find documentation. We've implemented an augmented reality application here known as EcoStructure Augmented Operator Advisor. And what EcoStructure Augmented Operator Advisor has done for us is using the power of Node Red, we've been able to unlock that data out of that PLC and deliver it in a real-time image, in a real-time overlay that data in a real-time image of an actual camera view of a mobile device, such that now a technician or a maintenance mechanic or a supervisor or an operator no longer needs to rely on that tribal knowledge to connect the programming device to debug or troubleshoot. They merely hold the tablet over their equipment and the critical data pops up in real time and streams live. It's been very exciting for us and is delivered through our Wi-Fi network and the plants to our mobile devices. And let's take a look at one of the 16 different pieces of equipment that we've implemented this tool on and let's see how it's delivered to us about a 20% reduction in mean time to repair. And I want to talk about two of the most important connected products that this facility has in terms of its digital transformation or its digital evolution. The first of which is the Sense offering, the Ozzy RFID offering from Schneider Electric. The conveyor system, at any given time, we move over 7,000 parts in the sky from a fabrication group through paint and to the final assembly group in the right order, in the right priority, at the right time to the assembly line. Another very critical connected product for us that we have over 300 of in the facility are the Magellus HMIs. And you'll see those quite frequently throughout the plant. It gives all the operators the ability to visualize, to control their processes in the plant. And we rely on them very heavily. This device also has the ability through the use of two advisor applications known as Secure Connect Advisor and Mobile Operator Advisor, the ability to deliver a cyber secure connection to any device that's on the subset of this device. It also gives you the ability to deliver control anywhere in your facility of the actual HMI screen 
to the use of mobile operator advisor. So we use these throughout the facility. In this particular case, in our power and free system, we can look at information streaming from anywhere in the facility from any one of our processes. This particular power and free system that we're standing in front of now has eight different control panels like this and over 30 HMIs in the system that we can view what's going on across the plant and see from any individual location in the plant. And those are very powerful for us. So we're coming to a very critical process in the Lexington facility, and that's our paint room. Um, you can understand with a, a process of this complex, you know, a seven stage pretreatment system, 20,000 gallon e-coat tank, the ability to e-coat 50 million square feet of metal a year. You can understand the complexity and the amount of control and monitoring that needs to take place. So what we've implemented here in our paint system is we've implemented a solution known as EcoStructure SCADA Expert based on Indusoft Web Studio, which has given us the ability to visualize and control 167 critical variables in the operation. Now, the really cool thing about the Indusoft Web Studio or EcoStructure SCADA uh, Expert application is its use of, of mobile thin clients and web thin clients to deliver that content anywhere in the building. What we're looking at here is we're looking at a live operator view of what the operator is using in the facility to control the processes. If you look through the control room here, you'll see another screen that looks exactly the same because this is a secure uh, web client that has delivered this uh, view or this input into this process in multiple locations throughout the video. So we're at a point in the tour now where I'd like to talk to you about our digital energy management system here in Lexington, Kentucky facility. We utilize two very important tools, one an edge tool and one an app and analytic layer tool. And the edge tool is known as Power Monitoring Expert. Power Monitoring Expert lies here at the edge and uses a system of connected meters in your facility to tell us exactly where your energy usage occurs. It also has the ability to extract data from PLCs and PCs, and it lets you descriptively analyze comparisons of that connected meter data with certain things like empty hooks in our paint system, the different types of metal that we use in our plant, gas consumption on a particular day, gives you the discrete ability to descriptively analyze and dashboard your energy usage in a particular area of very great detail. Then at the regional level, in a cloud application known as Resource Advisor, you extract, we extract, our regional operations managers extract these cloud application data as a power monitoring expert to the regional level, and they're able to do plant complaint comparisons across Schneider Electric. So for an entire region, we can analyze what we've spent and where we've spent that, that type of uh, uh, money, compare that to trends in weather, uh, compare that to trends in um, year over year trends or month over month trends. Now the use of this power monitoring expert at the edge and this resource advisor at the cloud for a regional look to give you an idea of how we've impacted our facility, Power Monitoring Expert has delivered us over 20% in energy reduction savings since its installation, over a 70% reduction in our carbon footprint or CO2 production. It's also given us a 5%, over a 5% year over year energy savings reduction. And it's even, we're on track this year for 11% in energy reduction year over year. And the resource advisor application has given us over a $6 million savings since its inception here in North America at a regional level. So two very powerful tools for us here in Lexington. I want to thank you for being here with us, Schneider Electric in Lexington. And I ask that you come to the plant uh, when you can in person. 
uh, and maybe we'll see you then and, and, and tell you how we've uh, developed more of our store. Thank you very much.